Morning guys, Rory here from Your Golf Travel. I'm in Portugal, the Algarve to be specific, and I'm at Quinta de Lago. It's been a while, not been back here for years, and some of you who've had a keen eye on the channel and Mark Crosshill's channel for an awfully long time since I started being the videos, might recognize this as the very first place I struck a golf ball on YouTube. Oh, it's a great shot. Oh, Rory's nailed it, get up. Boom, into about eight foot. Looking good. Oh! And just like last time, I absolutely banged a long iron, fresh off the clay, no practice swings, no warming up, striped it. Last time I hold the putt for a two as well. Ball located safely in the middle, lovely. So for today, it's just me here at Quinta Lago. Gonna play 18 holes here on a north course. Um, basically, just gonna see how I get on. Gonna top my score up for you guys. Gonna do Stapleford points. So if I have any head off holes, you don't have to watch me struggle and uh, stretch out an eight or a nine or something like that. But yeah, Stapleford points, north course, 18 holes. Let's go. Right, got 115 left in, downhill. Touch of breeze behind me as well. I don't think there's anything massively wrong with going a little bit past the pin, as long as it's not thin bullet. <laughs> Should hit full 52. That's pitched about pin eye, I think. Right, as you can see behind me when I spin around, beautiful par three second. Uh, actually measuring 196 to the pin. Pin tucked extreme right over a treacherous looking water hazard. I'm gonna try and play one up the left, but happy with a four for two start and all fairly comfortable after one hole. Right, up the left, achieved. But as you can see, now I've got a fairly complicated chip up onto the screen, up this massive hump, and then down towards the hole with water lurking behind and my striking on my chipping not being my strongest point. Actually pretty disappointed not to get up and down there following a pretty nice chip, but I'm in Portugal and it's sunny, so who cares? Um, right, north course. Designed and opened years and years and years ago. And the south course here has always been viewed as the premier or the marquee golf course. But in December of 2013, they completely shut the north course and basically spent a ton of money. I think almost 10 million euros renovating, reshaping, redesigning. And now the north course gives the south a much better run for its money. So when you look at the total golf offering here at Quinta de Lago, you've got the gorgeous north course, you've got the epic south course, and you've also got Laranjal. And I read the other day actually that for the first time in history, Quinta de Lago managed to get all three of their courses into Golf 100's top 100 in continental Europe. So, well done, Quinta de Lago, doing a good job. Let's change you to Yadas. Yadas. Return to golf. Thank you. Right, kind of pop that drive up in the air a little bit, but considering how narrow this fairway is and kind of death both sides, happy with that. So a little bit further back than I'd like, 
out of reach, I think, into a slight breeze. So just gonna hopefully hit a stinger, two iron up there. Leave 100 or less in. Just middle up the left. I think that almost hit the 100 meter post. Like, not too bad. Hit a lovely 30 putt. Right, as you can see, hit a lovely little wedge shot in there to about five feet, but it is a slippery one. Come on, get that point back. Yeah, buddy. Another absolutely gorgeous looking par four, sweeping up to the left and up the hill. And little check on the score, unfortunately, that was a six for one. Stroke index one on that hole, so wasting a shot after another decent drive. Just a little pulled wedge, that was the mistake. The short game stuff wasn't great, but got to be keeping it away from that bunker on the left with the approach shot. Playing the course from the Golds, it's 5,600 meters. That's around 6,100 yards, 6,002-ish, which again, as I said on previous videos, is very similar to the total yardage of my home club where I get my handicap from. There are some black tees way back there, which stretch the course out a little bit longer. Um, I think they would be about 6,700 or 6,800, so not massively long, like some of the uh, championship tees we've played off in other vlogs, but I decided to try and give myself a little relaxing round of golf. I am on holiday after all. Right, sixth hole, par four. Um, currently one worse than level twos on Stableford, so not doing too badly. A couple of mistakes in the last two holes, which is a bit annoying, so I was hitting the ball well. Par four, sweeping around to the right, not a long one. I could take four or five iron and hit it down the middle into the fat part of the fairway. But it doesn't look like there's a huge amount of trouble up there by that green, and I can sneak this within 50 or 40 yards if I hit a good one. So, gonna be aggressive. Could be a stupid plan. Right, ball located, green over there, tugged it a bit. And I reckon I might have had a decent chance of getting within 20, 10 or 20 yards had I hit it straight, but this isn't the end of the world. I can go up over those bad boys. Oh, that could be good. Take it. Ah. Decent par there in the end. Pitch out from the trees, pitched on this full front here and span off the front. 
and it was actually about 10 feet away at one point, so that was a bit frustrating, but not too bad. Right, people, it's another four for two, bringing me to 11 points through six holes, just one shy of that magical on handicap 12 mark, so doing all right. A couple of very silly mistakes and lots of good shots. So that concludes part one of the North Course. I'm gonna split this round into three parts. So hopefully you've enjoyed the first six holes. I'm pretty sure there are some more spectacular ones on the way. Uh, this course just gets prettier and prettier as you go around. So yeah, tune in for part two if you wanna see if I can keep a decent-ish score going, maybe even pass some shot holes or get the odd birdie, get back into the plus column on the point situation. And yeah, obviously, see the rest of this beautiful golf course here at Quintalago North. Thanks for watching, and see you guys in part two.